Hi, everyone, with Eddie Old Jack alongside and Ray Ferraro down at the ice. This is Mike Emery. The matchup tonight is a strong one. Two teams from the Eastern Conference. It's not just a show of myself and Ray Ferraro. We have a third man along, and he is very important. Let's hear from Eddie Olchek. The Eastern Conference has some of the best individual talent in the league, but as you know, this is a team sport. The players will obviously have to work together if they want to see success here tonight. Let's see how they do. Along with Eddie Olchek and Ray Ferraro, I'm Mike Emmerich, and this playoff game is underway. Outstanding body contact. Riley's the type of player that responds to this type of game. It's going to be aggressive from start to finish. He scores! And we have our first one of the game. Always interesting, guys, after the first goal is scored, whether the team that scored is going to continue to attack or whether they'll sit back a little bit. You always hope if you're paying the price of admission as a home fan that your team scores first. In this case, it has. So far, they got their money's worth early in this game. Maple Leaf score. Scored by number 51. And that puck is iced, and so that kick will come for another face. Number 91, John Tavares. Time to the goal. One minute, 11 seconds. Toronto's prevailed on another faceoff. Puck grab, they're ready to go. Oh, snaps the shot. Puck is thrown to Oshie. A superb hit. A great hockey play there. These plays happen a lot in the middle of the ice because there's a lot of traffic there. Terrific determination by John Tavares. That puck exits the zone, so play has to reset. Chip to Kuznetsov. Slid to Ovechkin. Huge open ice hit. That is a massive open ice hit. They look spectacular. They feel great when you deliver them. They don't feel so great when you're lying where he is. Just like shootout. Oh, great save there. Not much room to work, but he got a good shot away. Now that's a solid save. Oh, what a hit that one was. Ovechkin's going to have to pick himself up after that one. He got steamrolled. They clearly got the target on. Shoots! Terrific save with no reaction time whatsoever. <laughs> Looking to Burakovsky. Snapping a pass to Baxter. Crashed into him in open ice. Missed the puck on the shot attempt. Trying to go to Eller. There is a slash on that play, and it is going to be called. Toronto's got two minutes on their penalty total, and this one's for slashing. Oh, that's a blatant slash, Doc. Any time that you slide your bottom hand up your stick and swing your stick, you're going to the box. Washington's power play unit makes its debut tonight. You can turn the tide of a game on a power play, whether you score or not, by getting shots, by getting traffic, and by keeping the puck in the offensive zone. If you chase it up and down the ice all the time, nothing gets accomplished. You can almost see and feel the panic on the power play here. The first part of it's been really ineffective. They have not been able to find clean lanes to the net. And as a result, they got to go chase the puck again. Gets it in a good place. The Capitals' power play has ended. What a great chance to tie the game. Oh, what a hit. That slowed things down. Oh, he thought he was going to be able to squeeze through there, but the door got slammed. He got crushed into the boards. The Capitals have been handed a minor penalty for tripping. He's got great stick positioning. Stick is on the ice, but unfortunately takes the skates out from under him. The Leafs are going to try out their power play. This is a great opportunity for them on their first power play. Get the puck to the point, get it to the net, crowd the net for rebounds. On to Matthews. 
Let's it go. Oh, I want to save. I don't know how much of this puck he stopped, guys, but it was just enough to keep it out of the net. Just under seven minutes to go in the period. Toronto's ahead, 1-0. The Maple Leafs win it. He's got a chance. May not have intended it, but it hit him. Washington's cleared. A lot of work, but penalty time less and less now. The Capitals have killed off the penalty, and so we're back at full strength. Passing one off now to Oshie. And the players collide in open ice. From the outside, say. Toronto's along the wing at center ice. Pass. Tremendous hit. Riley's not shy to throw his body around here at any time. Toronto's offense is predicated by laying the body on the opponents. They've been more physical early. They have the game's only goals, too. Solid win at center ice. Now what? Moving it to Backstrom. What a tremendous hit. If you're coming through that area of the ice, you better have your head up. Save! And holds on to that buck to get the whistle. That shooter might want to check his stick if that's all that he's got in the arsenal. It's not going to score very often. Washington's got a face-off win. Directing that went to Burakovsky. Smart recovery by Ennis. Just a backhand. Wonderful stop. Toronto's aggressive forechecking has been a key to this period. Every time their opponent has the puck, they get a body on them, and as a result, they've scored goals to take the lead. Washington's got a defensive zone win. He cut him down on that run. In the first period, Washington's up the wing settling things. And he dumps it in. Burakovsky's got no weight on his one leg as he limps his way back to the bench after that huge hit. And now it's directed to Baxter. It's just him. Outstanding save. We were looking for a red light there. Surprise. 20 minutes have come and gone. A rest for the players as we prepare for period number two. Toronto's connected once, and that's the only goal. We turn to the shots on goal. Heavy for one, light for the other. Nine for the Maple Leafs, and three for the Capitals. Don't forget to check out tonight's team. The Maple Leafs have a one-goal lead. This is the one that did it for them, as the teams are in the locker rooms, and we're about to sell some. We have 20 minutes down. We have lots of time still to go. What are your thoughts so far, Edzo? The Capitals are down only by one, Doc, and they're lucky. The way they turned over the puck in that first period, this could easily be a three or four goal deficit. Washington's carrying on along the boards. Oh, she's the guy that got hit yet again. Shoots one. That's a good save and goal. They're going to have to come up with something better than that. Wonderful save. Oh, he took a pretty good jolt there, guys. That shot caught him right in the mask. We'll have to watch him for the next few minutes, see if it affects the way that he plays. The Capitals with a clean win on the draw. Pitching it to Oshie. Pitching this one to Kuznetsov. That was one he'll get the number on. Oh, he's been looking for that hit all night. Wonderful save. What a skill level there. The shooter thought he had a chance, but the goaltender robs him. What a stop. 
Nylander's got to try to simplify his game there. Just too much stick handling. An enormous hit. I really like the effort that he's trying there to generate a turnover by finishing this check. Wonderful save. What skill by both goalie and shooter. Pass attempt to Niskanen. Enormous hit. He's crushed. A collision. Scooped up by Marlowe. He wore that puck on a hard shot. Gathered up again by Codry. Puck is thrown to Carlson. They've got the numbers. Can he beat him here? Comes up big on the breakaway. Takes it in from the neutral zone. Taken over again. Oh, tremendous hit. That rush is over. Wonderful save. That is up close and personal. And yet another save. How does he do that? These saves are all about positioning. Goalies have to make a half a dozen great stops in a win. This is one on a beautiful move, but there is nowhere for the puck to go. A little under eight minutes played here in the second. Only one goal hanging on the board so far. So it's 1-0. A great wrist shot. Nearly grazed the iron on that. You know what, Doc? I can see why he missed the net. There was... Stop! Oh! Yeah. of his release. It gives him the advantage on this play, and the puck gets past the goaltender in a hurry. Outstanding play that delivered the pass on his stick. When he got it, he made no mistake to beat the goaltender. The Maple Leafs here in the second period have a two-goal lead, and it's a huge lead on the shot board. The Capitals with a center ice face-off win. Can start the attack going in the zone. You can almost count that one, but no, what a save. The Maple Leafs have dominated much of this game defensively. They've denied shots to the net. Their goaltender hasn't had much to do, but he's been sharp on the relatively few chances he's had. Toronto's going to continue to try to forecheck, generate more chances. Defensively, their goaltender has to stay sharp. He's just not been challenged much at all. Lost another one. Washington's accelerating on in neutral ice. Laid on to Juice. Can he generate something? What a heavy collision along the boards. Well, he got hit so hard, it looks like his shoulders touched each other. That one's going to leave a mark. He left his feet, but not on his own, and not by choice. And so, when you do that, you expect this. Doc, he knew he was going to have to fight after making that push league play. They used their fists and got a fistful. Five each for fighting. The Maple Leafs are pounding the boards as their guy has won this fight. Toronto's got a little bit of swagger going now. Their man's won the fight. The crowd is ecstatic. The Capitals control from the neutral zone. He is slashed, and there'll be a penalty for that. Toronto's got a minor for slashing. He's making like Paul Bunyan out there. That's a two-minute slash. Washington's power play gets another chance to operate. Hasn't been effective yet. After an ineffective power play earlier in the game, let's see if they can get a little more organized, get the puck into the zone and get it on net far more frequently. Looking to Kadri. Let's it go. Great save. Snapping a pass to Kuznetsov. Trying to go to Carlson. Passing one off now to Baxter. Alone. Score! Outstanding job on the power play.
Backstrom's body position allows him to get this puck to the backhand and put it in. Anderson's positioning is perfect. He's in the butterfly. He looks like he's got most of the net covered, but that is an outstanding shot. The Capitals, with the scoring of that goal, have cut the lead in half and still an entire period to play. Washington's got that one. Now what? Propelled to Niskanen. A big, big hit. When you step up like that, that stops all momentum through the middle of the ice. And he steps across the line. Say, score! not able to keep the puck in front of him. He gets a big chunk of this as he's in position to make the save, but it's just not enough. The Leafs now have a two-goal lead, and we're late in the second period. Do they try to protect this at least to get to the horn? Toronto's got another face-off win. He shut him right down. Moving it to Orwell. Things are heating up with that hit. Good thing he's wearing the helmet, or that could have been very dangerous. Stole that pass away in his own end. Gains the zone. That one comes right on his stick. Not very long, but good. That was a big hit. And finally, the whistle blows, and they contend to it. Backstrom's injury was apparent as soon as you saw this hit. Huge collision, bone rattling check. They've got the draw. Directing that one to Wilson. Pitching it to Hyman. The cursed goals are the ones in the first minute and the last. Will we see one here? He scores! Two in a row! He didn't have much time in tight, and he put it in on a one-timer. Oh, the goaltender's disappointed here. He gave everything he had on that, just not able to get across to stop it. The Maple Leafs have built a tremendous lead and also built some wonderful confidence. What will they say at the second intermission? Probably not much. Now it's directed to Wilson. He finished his shift right in the middle of the ice. Wilson slashed on the play, and there'll be a penalty coming up. Toronto's minor penalty is for slashing. Oh, look at the reaction of the puck carrier. He is in some pain. That's a slash. Washington's to the power play again. And they have rung in one already. Let's see if they get another. They've been successful before knocking the game here. Let's see if they can do it again. Move the puck, get the puck to the net. Wonderful save. Two periods have been played. And so, as we think back through the first two, we think ahead toward the third. Looking at the shots on goal through two periods here, 20 for Toronto and eight for the Capitals. Are you a super fan? Holtby's performance so far, not one he's proud of, as we head to break. You can win great side tickets to an upcoming game. We are entering the third period. Based on the first two, what are you expecting to happen? Toronto's up, Doc, here with a pretty solid lead but they know that their opponent's going to come after them. So let's see how they play it. Will they be defensive first or look to add to the lead that they have? Power play continues here into this period. Knocks loose. The roadblock got in the way. He's been drilled again. That's a lot. Breakaway. Magnificent save. 
He is shut right off. Better tighten up the brain bucket. Not afraid to... It's all on his shoulders. Rondo's killed off the penalty. Back to full strength. That play is offside, and so back to center ice for the face. Just a remarkably desperate play by the goalkeeper keeps this one out. Nice face-off work. The Leafs skated up on the side. Got it on his stick in the slot. Score! Three straight goals. A break in the coverage allows him to one time that puck from the low slot. Well, he tried to dance this one up with a glove stop, but he doesn't get it, and it's in the net. Toronto's goal has built an even bigger lead. We're in the third period. For the opposition, at least that is fortunate. He keeps winning draws, and his team gets possession, and they're winning the game. I wonder if there's a connection there. Washington's along the wing at center ice. Takes a shot. Use that big goalie stick well. Pitching this one to Tavares. Pass attempt to Nylander. Shoots one. Chuck that right away. And still another save. What a show. Puck is thrown to Carlson. It's dumped in. Back in his defensive end to get it. The Leafs are driving it from the wing. Great job in his own end with that interception. And decides to just hold on and get a stop at your play. You can't deliver the puck much better than that, but the goalie said no chance. That's an excellent save. Toronto's got that win. Works his way right up Young Street. And he dumps it in. Looking to Matthews. He throws it there. The Leafs waiting back in the defensive zone. He got down there, and the icing is canceled. Toward the net. Wonderful save on the redirect. Rubbed out along the boards. The fans are really into that big hit. Save there. The Capitals are at the wing in neutral ice. And he steps in. On the outside, a shot. And a save. Snapping a pass to Kadri. The Capitals are sitting on their bench waiting for that final horn to go off so they can get the heck out of here. This has been a debacle from the get-go. Let's it go. Wonderful stop. Trying to go to Juice. There's one that'll take you back through time. Terrific determination by Alexander Ovechkin. The Leafs get two minutes, and the call is boarding. This was a dangerous hit here, Doc. No chance for the player to protect himself. A power play that can generate goals is special, and this one has been. Let's see if it continues. The Maple Leafs with a face-off win. Toronto's on the move in neutral ice. Brown's trying to do way too much there with that offensive opportunity. Cut down on that rush. Passing one off now to Brown. Moving it to Kuznetsov. Terrific open ice hit. The defense can rest. Toronto's PK has been splendid. Chip to Kapanen. He was standing in the lane and got some of it. Outstanding job done at the blue line to hold the pressure off. Great stick there. A huge open ice hit. And he's hammered. Steps in from the neutral zone. He scores! That's four straight. He 
takes advantage of an open lane, calls for the pass, and one times it into the cage from the high slot. Wow, Enzo, this is a cannon of a shot. The goaltender stops most of it, but it's too powerful and it works its way in. Goalie to the bench, substitution made. Well, not much surprise here. The coach has clearly seen enough and because he can't bench the whole team. What he's going to do is get his goaltender out of there and let him have a bit of a break. Toronto's goal has taken them to an even larger lead on a night that they have had the offense going. Third period of play. It's dumped in. Directing that one to Tavares. Driving in from no man's land. Forcing attention in deep. That one gonged him. They hit him right in the head. Puck picked up here. Took that away in his own zone. Moving it on up the wing. Good standing poke check. Last minute of play, and the outcome is certain here. Big hits in open ice. Since the rules have changed a little bit, you're not able to hold up quite as much as you used to. A rarity is an open ice hit. That is a big one. Carries it on in from center. Great save. Solid work there by Wilson. Pitching it to Eller. And open ice collision. Great defensive job. What a hit. I'm not so sure how... He scores! On the road back, perhaps. side of the stick and it's no problem for him he handles it well and finds the back of the net the goaltender looked like he was too concerned Eddie with getting his feet back to the post then he can't get the five hole closed the Capitals control from the face off now it's directed to Verano shot and quickly back Look out, the hits are coming. The Capitals control the play in the defensive zone. And he dumps it in. Bodied off. Goes back deep for it. Shoots. Great pad stop. Let's it go. They have played twice. Players can feel good about taking the first few games and building that momentum into the next game. And so ends another playoff contest and telecast. We hope you'll be watching for our next one. For Eddie Olchek and Ray Ferraro, Mike Emmerich saying good night.